Hello wonderful people of YouTube. This is Random Fix and this video is about solar panels. So I just got back about a week ago from a 24 state trip across America and it was a wonderful trip and these solar panels did perfect. And so in this video today I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and install the solar panels here from start to finish. So stay tuned. Hello world, this is Random Fix. In this video today, we're gonna to be installing these 100 watt roof panels on top of that sprinter right there. So we got the Rich Energy 200 watt kit. This actually comes with the MC4 connectors. I got a two pack of this cable entry gland over here and that was a pretty good price. I'll have a link to it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and get this installed, including mounting it to the Z brackets here onto the actual roof. And I'll show you guys my setup here, but I'm not gonna be using this charge controller here because my Renergy DC to DC controller right here actually takes solar, it takes the alternator and basically handles everything for me. So I'm gonna go with this setup. So this is just gonna go ahead and sit around. Today we're gonna be focusing on getting these on top of the roof. So Diego's getting some, Diego's gonna go ahead and put a blanket down so we can actually face these down. And since I'm gonna be on top of my vehicle anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and install an extra pair of cables up there. If I ever need to use them, I'll have them done because once I install the headliner here, it's gonna be a thousand times harder. And then we're gonna be installing this for the bathroom as well. So if you guys wanna check out that video, this is actually a pretty cool fan and it's very, very short. So you can get it underneath the solar panels. We got the max air vent up there already installed. That got done yesterday. And then if you guys seen the other videos, Diego's up here in the Bay Area. If you guys need any help with your camper build, we're gonna have his contact information below. So reach out to me. To save a little bit of time, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get some of this wiring already done down here. So that way we just go ahead and drop this through the roof. We're gonna be using, is it an inch and a quarter? Three quarter. Inch and three quarter hole. We got a bi-metal bit, so we're gonna basically use a circular bit, go through the roof. We're gonna go ahead and put butyl tape, lap seal in around there, and get this secure. You wanna make sure you face it like that. So this would be the front of the car where my fingers are up front, and this is the back of the vehicle. That way you don't introduce any unnecessary wind pressure in here. And for our build over here, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this underneath the solar panels. We're also try to get this fan underneath the solar panel as well, just protect it from the sun, as the sun will beat anything up. And I'm not really sure about the quality as far as the material on the actual fan, because this is the lid of it. So it sits, I think, about two and a half inches off the roof and just a 12 volt connection and here's the bottom of it so try to keep your stuff underneath the panels because the panels are made to actually stand up to the sun okay so before you go up on the vehicle you want to go ahead and mount up these z brackets right here to the actual solar panel and then what's going to end up happening on top of the roof we're going to go ahead and get them mounted to this 8020 material over here, which you can buy, or it comes with some roof kits. And basically, this slides into place here. And we need a total of eight of these per panel, so four on each side. And basically, then this will hold this in place. We got the oval nut here. They call these T-nuts and then we got a washer, then we got a locking washer. We're also going to use Loctite on here and Diego is setting this up right now. So we are almost done mounting the Z-brackets and the way these Z-brackets work is you grab a Z-bracket and put it into place here and then you grab the bolt, put some Loctite on it and then you go ahead and feed it from the bottom, put the washer, drop in the locking washer, and then you gotta hold 
this back here. And you want to push the Z bracket against the actual solar panel flush and tighten down to a nice snug fit, maybe about like 20 pounds. That's how you'll know you'll have it. So there we go. Now we are ready to take this panel and that panel, get on top of that car. We got the 80, 20, 10, 20 series here. We're gonna be using those T-nut style slides here. And basically we're gonna be sliding this into place here. And when this slides down, it's gonna go connect into here. So you need eight per panel or four per side here. And let's get this on top of the roof now. So for our entry boxes, we're gonna be picking a spot right here. We've already done our measurements and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and just use a punch tool right here. Diego's gonna show you. So from the very bottom, you can grab the spot you want to go up to. It'll make it a little nice clean mark up top. And then he can go up there with the hole saw and make a hole straight down for that entry. And then we are putting the fan, if you guys want to check that out on a different video, right here. For the solar entry, you want to make sure that you go ahead and put something down on the ground so it catches all the metal shavings. And we're going to go up top now and go ahead and drill out those two circular holes so we can have access down. So Diego is climbing up and we're going to get these holes drilled out. So with that punch, now we can go ahead and locate the location of our little dimple that we made. So the dimple, you can see it right there. Now we're going to go ahead and use that bimetal bit right there to give us access to go ahead and put our wires through. Done. Make sure you tighten the chuck. <laughs> go ahead and use a file and file everything down. Make sure you choose the right hole for your job. So we got a little bit of a bigger hole there and a smaller hole on this side. For these entry boxes, some of them don't actually come pre-drilled. So do not just go up there with the screw and start drilling. You wanna go ahead and drill these out. So we have a drill bit here. We're using the side of this box here. So that way we have a level surface and we're not gonna hit the ground. Go ahead and make yourself at least four places to go ahead and get the screws in. And if you want to be extra good, go ahead and get one in the front as well. And we're going to go ahead and put our butyl tape on down here. That way we don't have to do this on top of the actual car. And leave the back film on so that way when you get up there, you'll have a super fresh install. Okay, so we are actually taped up on the back of both of these. I'm putting an extra one in just in case I ever need any power up there to go ahead and protect this. We're going to go ahead and put some of this Alex Tech braid in here. If you guys want to check that out, this stuff's pretty cool actually. Super easy to go on. Once you put it into place, you can go ahead and tape it, zip tie it, whatever you want so it doesn't slide down anymore. And this will protect it against the actual body of the vehicle so it doesn't just rub away. It's anti-abrasion material. And so we're gonna get that nice and tight. And then we are gonna go mount solar. So Diego is actually putting in the very first of the cable entries into the vehicle. I'm gonna have two. One thing to keep in mind guys, Make sure that you put touch-up paint on any of the exposed metal before you go ahead and mount this down. So make sure you grab some Rust-Oleum, your touch-up paint. Just don't leave it bare and go through and just take your time. And after this, we're gonna be applying some lap sealant. So after you got that somewhat tight, go ahead and use hand tools to go ahead and make your final adjustments. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and put in the second one. And on this one, we're gonna go ahead and just leave these wires up here. I'm not gonna connect them to anything. So this is just for a future build out. If I need to go ahead and maybe put some special lights, uh, LED bars, I don't have to really worry about running the wire again. It's already up here and I just need to tap into it. If you had to do this again, would you still would you still attach the wires ahead of time? Yeah. Because otherwise I'm fighting it up here. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill out five holes. And the reason we're actually doing it like this, guys, instead of putting it next to the actual fan here, this is gonna be protected. And I'm trying to keep it out of the elements as much as possible. So this is the way I'm doing it. So if you guys got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And when you're working on this, guys, it's really important. Don't actually put your weight on top of the roof because it's really flexible. So Diego's on top of these 80-20 aluminum rails here. I'm actually on a ladder right here. So there is no weight on the actual roof. Yesterday, we were using a surfboard. So that kind of helped out or a boogie board to go ahead and distribute the weight. You could use plywood, anything. Go ahead and tighten up everything using your hand tool. Now it's time for some lap sealant. One thing when you're working around a ladder like this, I learned this trick from Diego, standing on both sides. You gotta be very careful not to lean back. So now we got the lap sealant going around the actual fan, and then we're gonna be doing the actual entry boxes here for the solar. Remember, be generous. So get it on top of all the screw holes, as well as all the way around the actual entry box. And we're being very, very generous with that lap sealing today. And on the back, you're gonna have to go ahead and squeeze it in between and then push it in with your finger to get it in place. So it's really important guys too, is you wanna make sure that you set those compressions all the way back. So you can see this one is tight and on that one over there is loose. Don't forget about that because water will make its way in that and the chances of it happening on this system are very low because it's underneath the panels here but keep that in mind guys and this is so much easier to do on the ground and before you actually mount the solar go ahead and do some measurements and stay clear of anything that might move like that fan back there so we are going to do our final check and get these solar panels mounted up here. Whenever possible, go ahead and pre-drill on the ground, not on top of the car, guys. A lot easier. So we got the panels up here and we basically made a few minor adjustments. They slid into place. Alrighty, so now what you wanna do is go ahead and get this in place here. And once you got it in place, go ahead and untie your wires and then we're gonna go ahead and install the next panel. First panel is in place. If you wanna go ahead and wire it up, you can. Make sure you hear that click. So those are popped in. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install a washer, locking washer, and just loosely fit the bolt on top in case we need to make any other adjustments. And then it's highly recommended that you go ahead and get some Loctite on here before you do your final tightening. All right guys, so we got everything mounted up here and we went ahead and fastened up the cables. I even used a little bit of a foam pad I had just so I didn't want to hear any of that cable moving around up here. 200 watts of solar, super cheap, rich solar. I'll have a link to it below. We are done. So we'll see you guys on the rest of the build. If you guys got any questions, please leave them below. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys got any comments or questions, please leave them below. And if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button and smashing on that notification button as well. And today's a wrap. Diego, how do we do, man? Oh, man, we did wonderful. I'm gonna get some missing hardware back here. Now that I've actually had this on the van, and the van has about 15,000 miles, I'm gonna talk about some things that I wish I changed. And one of the things that I would have done a little bit different is I wouldn't have actually staggered them like I did right there. So 
that stagger formation there actually takes up a little bit more space so I would have gone ahead and done all my installs like this and also the way I did it with the butyl tape and the lap sealant nothing leaked so so far no leaks from the bathroom fan which is underneath here or the cable entries for the solar everything's working out very well and I'm gonna have a link to these nuts for you guys in the description box below and I also used them on my deck right there which came out really nice and the reason you want to use these versus trying to work with 80 20 uh, slide nuts is because with those you're gonna have to actually go and try to match them up and fish them out so this acts like a handle and you get to drag it into place and it's a lot easier to go ahead and do it that way and I'll have a link to the rich energy solar panels here and I'll also include other videos about the DC to DC converter that I'm using that basically takes the power here and also takes the power from the engine and goes and fuses it all together so it doesn't overload anything and you always have a battery that's going to go ahead and be charged for your next adventure and we got a lot of 8020 material left that we're going to go ahead and use towards the front but this is looking good three months i've been using the solar panels here guys it's been an amazing experience and one thing that i actually realized from having the solar and the deck up here is that it actually keeps the van cooler inside so that is definitely a big plus i wish i had a little bit more room to install more panels but i have the rear ac unit and i have the deck up front here but the 200 watts is definitely more than enough just to keep everything topped off Thank you so much for checking out the video here and i'll have a whole playlist with links to everything from start to finish in the video box down below and make it a great day